Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use the sum product function in Excel. Okay, we have three separate examples for sum product function and let's start with the first one. The, this question asks us to multiply these numbers with each other, then find the results and sum them up. So if we didn't have any sum product function, what we would do is multiplying these numbers with each other for each row then sum these results it gives us 500 but Excel has a function for this which is called sum product and it asks us to choose arrays this is a series of values which are called arrays and we choose our series of values and you see it gives the same value it multiplies for each value with each other then sums it up second example works in the same way but horizontally rather than vertically it also works some product also works in this way I choose my values from the first array and my values for the second array and it gives us 300 308. This let's cross check this result by making our own long way calculation. I multiply these values, then sum this up, and yes, we have the same value. So, how are we going to use the sum product function? Okay, there is a mathematical concept called weighted average. This is a company profile and each row shows how many people in this company has uh, which ages so for example in um, 12 people has 20 age and 8 people has uh, 22 years old and 16 people uh, are 25 years old and so on and so forth if we want to find the basic average of these ages we will make average and select the ages Sorry, let me write it again and select range and 35.5. But this is not that much correct because uh, we want, if more people are at a certain age, we want this age has more effect in the final result. So, for example, um, this doesn't make sense if all these people here. Uh, only one people with this age and uh, all the rest are here with 20 age. It still shows 35.5, but this doesn't make sense. There's the most of the people in the company are age 20. So we are going to use a sum product function here. And it gives us to the multiplication of these numbers and if we Divided with the number of people, we are going to find the correct weight average age here. So I choose my ages and the number of people. This gives me the number of total result of the multiplication. And then I divide it with the number of people. And it gives me the weighted average age for this company. So, for example, is if all these ages have only one people, then you see the main emphasize the main um, effect is coming from this age. So it decreases. So I change these back to normal values, and let's check the result. Okay, good. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the first beginner level of our series. And in the next video, we are going to learn how to use the famous VLOOKUP function.